How's everybody doing today? Eric here from Around To It Videos and today what we're going to show you is a quick tutorial on the mouse functions in Movie Edit Pro. Now this tutorial is done with Movie Edit Pro version 16 plus but it will also work with versions 15, 14, and 12. So what you're going to learn today you can take back through the other versions if you have an older version. Now if we look here at the screen you see on my timeline I've got a very complicated uh, movie set up here it's got several video clips several titles music on the timeline I've, I'm using currently eight tracks now this is the ghost effect tutorial that I did uh, a while back and I'll be doing another one on this for version 16 real soon but for today let's talk about the mouse functions in movie edit pro now if you look right over here You've got a series of icons just above the timeline. This is the one we're going to be working with today. This is the one that deals only with, with the mouse functions. And as you see right there, it's set to uh, that particular icon for the mouse functions. That's the object function. That's the one that you will use most all the time. All that does is it allows you to grab an object on the timeline and work with it, work with that individual object. That's how you do it most of the time in Movie Edit Pro. Uh, there's another list of options here. You have the Intelligent Mouse Function, the Curve, Stretching, and Preview Audio. All right, for the Intelligent Mouse Function, this is really interesting to use. And let me show you how it works. Say, for example, on the timeline, you've got everything arranged like you want it, but you want to add something in front of a video clip or a title on your timeline and you don't want to have to go through the bother of moving everything you've got it set just right well in the intelligent mouse mode you just grab the object one object and move it and it selects everything now see isn't that neat just by grabbing one object on the timeline it selects everything and you can move it all at one time pretty awesome now let's go and check out one of the other features let's look at oh preview audio let's try that one now as you notice when I wave the mouse pointer over the audio track here you see the little speaker sign come up if you left click and hold it will automatically preview the audio on that track let's try it pretty neat now there's audio on for this track too the uh, video on track one but I've got it muted so if I click on it, you won't hear anything. That's no big deal. But anyway, that's a pretty neat option also. Now for the stretching, I don't really use this very often, but let's wave it over uh, an object on the timeline. This is a video clip. Now you see the icon change for the, the, for the mouse pointer? It goes, it stretches it. You just left click and hold and you can stretch it. I'm not real sure what this is for, I, I hardly ever use it. You can do the same thing. You can get the same effect using the regular object function just like that. But anyway, all right, now let's check out the the curve function of the mouse. And this is pretty awesome. Now let's get a close up here of this track. Now say for example, there's something in this audio track that you don't want to hear only for a split second say somebody says a curse word or uh, just something you want to uh, to omit alright let's get a real close shot at this I've selected the uh, this, the uh, the curve again I'm sorry make sure I had it selected alright let's let's left click one time ah look what happens you see the series of dots coming up just you you're still holding the left mouse button down and there you go that allows you let's let's make this a little bigger so everybody can see it that allows you to edit the sound and the, those little handles you can drag them drop them however you want to see I'm actually I'm making more now 
let's go back to the object function now I'm back to the object function I can just grab each one of these and I can do whatever I want to with them but in essentially what you, what I just did I muted the sound for a split second on that audio clip let's listen to it and see what it sounds like now see it was gone and it came right back that's pretty awesome I like that but anyway that was it in a nutshell I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on the mouse functions in movie edit pro and look forward to some more quick tutorials from me real soon as always please remember to rate comment and subscribe to support my channel here and we'll see you later on the tube okay